Hey all my movie maniacs out there, it is that time, it is I, and yes, once again, the final cut is here, bringing you some interesting, maybe not so well-known films, uh, well, at least not some well-known films, interesting, now that's going to be debatable with today's film, which is Zombie Hunter, which uh, touts that stars Danny Trejo, who actually is in the film, <laughs> and anyway, we get the story of the Zombie Hunter, a uh, guy's name is Hunter, at least that's all we know his character by, he's played by Martin Copping, and we catch up with him driving around in his muscle car, killing zombies and surviving the zombie apocalypse, which has taken over the earth, okay? Uh, you know, he's a loner. He, well, he's not completely alone. He's got a zombie head in his front seat. And he's riding the countryside just trying to survive. Well... He does run into an accident that happens and he comes across a group of human survivors led by Father Jesus, played by Danny Trejo. And soon he finds himself joining this band of small, uh, this small band of human survivors as they try to make their way to the airport and get to a place where there are no zombies where they can live out the rest of their human lives without having to worry about becoming some creature's lunch. Yes, Zombie Hunter. Oh, wow. Brought to us by director K. King. This is his first time directing, and he co-wrote the script with Kurt Knight. Now, I'll give it, it's his first time directing, and the type of project he's taking on here is kind of a tongue-in-cheek poke fun or ode, however you want to take it, uh, more of a poke fun type of deal at the Grindhouse zombie type picture, okay? It, it tries to have that feel. We start off right away with some of that cheesy over uh, voiceover dialogue from Hunter, played by Martin Copping, and he's got this growly voice, and he, he's really trying to sound badass, and and not really quite getting just to that level, you know, almost. He's trying, he's trying, but just not quite getting there. And there are some fun action scenes we see him in the beginning dispatching various zombies. But when he gets with the group of humans, we see how things kind of get disrupted in his plan to survive. Now you get uh, Father Jesus in here, like I said, Danny Trejo, Danny Trejo's Danny Trejo. I mean, even in the cloth where we got him for five some odd minutes, he was pretty badass. This one, he kicks major ass, all right? I, I hope I can kick a, a quarter, a, a, a eighth of an ass as much as his, uh, Danny Trejo kicks. And he, he's really, he's pretty cool in this. They got some interesting uh, cinematography going on, kind of doing a, a comic book type style uh, scenes with flashbacks and montages that, as well as just regular uh, film shooting. So I kind of like the mixture of that style, considering they're trying to go for that uh, comic strip type of pulp feel to it, I guess. Uh, so it was fitting and didn't distract me. It was kind of fun. And like I said, getting to see Danny Trejo dispatch zombies with an axe is always fun to watch. He does get more screen time in here than we saw him in The Cloth, and it's more screen time than in some of these films that have his name. So that was pleasant surprise as well. You've got Claire uh, Niederprumen, who plays Allison, who's kind of the good girl of this group of small human, a uh, small group of human survivors, uh, and she does all right in her role as the good girl who uh, likes the bad boy Hunter. And then we've also got a few other uh, cliche characters in here as well. I actually had no problems with this film, really, even with some of the CGI gore, because they did have some practical gore as well, which is pleasant. I mean, I really didn't have a problem with it until Up shows this big CGI zombie monster, folks. Yes, the bad CGI effects took me away from it, and they only got worse from there. And I wish they hadn't done that because I was kind of enjoying the cheesiness. I was enjoying the overtopness. I knew what they were going for, and I'm like, okay, I can accept this. But when you throw in a lot of bad CGI, well, then you're starting to take me out of the film because you don't need to go that route and still keep this film entertaining. So while a good chunk of it, I was entertained when these, uh, when it starts to really get CGI heavy with some of these, uh, extra uh, zombies that are coming in, that took me away from it. I, I, I mean, it's not phenomenal acting by any means. They're, all the characters are cliche. We've seen this before with zombie films, but it wasn't a completely horrible disaster. It wasn't really a fantastic zombie film either. It was It was just kind of, eh, okay, it's there. It's worth it for Danny Trejo's part in there, which is about in the middle of the film. So you can make it to that part and see Danny Trejo. Uh, you don't really need to see the ending, though, because you can probably guess where it's going to go. Uh, though they did have one surprise moment in there, which kind of caught me off guard. But on the whole, Zombie Hunter is just kind of there. If you're looking for, if you run the gambit of zombie films on Netflix, you're looking for just something, and you really enjoy Danny Trejo, then you'll want to see Zombie Hunter. 
Uh, that's the only way I could recommend it. Uh, you know, free on instant uh, view or, you know, for bargain Blu-ray maybe. Uh, it is entertaining for what they're trying to do and Danny Trejo, but on the whole, it's just meh. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, folks, keep that ticket stuff.